Hi everybody. Welcome to the Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks for so much for hanging out with me today. Today I'm going to be making for you a, uh, an Italian soup called Tuscan White Bean Soup with Bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Um, so it starts with uh, bacon. And what we're going to do is um, I took 10 slices of bacon. I cut them up. I threw them in here and I, I, I cooked them until they were crispy. I reserved one tablespoon or so of the bacon fat and now I'm frying up the Holy Trinity which is carrots which have been cut up uh, diced, celery cut up diced as well and onion but I'm using in this case shallots. shallots. So uh, there's four of those in here uh, cut up very finely. You can in a pinch use uh, leeks maybe for sure um, or onion if you don't have any shallots. All right, so I'm cooking this. I've been cooking it for a few minutes to get it uh, somewhat soft. Uh, come sa. And to this, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic, which have been chopped up finely. And just gonna cook that a little bit to get it aromatic. Some uh, chili flakes, a little bit of heat is always good. Now, this you're going to judge on your own. If you want a little spicy or not, I'm putting about, I'm gonna say about uh, a teaspoon of that in there. All right, we're gonna put some salt and pepper. A good amount of salt and pepper. Of course, you can always salt and pepper it later as well to season it. Some uh, kosher salt, or you can use sea salt, of course. Okay. And we're going to cook that up a bit just to get it fragrant. Mm, already smells good. There we go. It's a good hearty soup. It's got protein because it has the cannellini beans in it. So it's great. Any kind of white bean would, would go well, I, I imagine. But we're using the cannellini. Whoops. Okay. That's about right. So to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of wine, white wine. I didn't have any white wine in the house, so I'm using dry vermouth. Same difference in a pinch, you can use it. And that's going to deglaze the bottom of the pan, which means it's going to pick up all the great stuff on the bottom uh, that's sticking there, and it'll just bring the flavor right back into here. So we're going to just cook this and reduce it a little bit bring it up mm, smells delicious so in a pinch when you're cooking vermouth is fine I mean uh, we have it in the house we don't drink it other than me cooking with it I mean we don't drink it do we Dan? have you no. ever had it no oh okay there you go but it smell I'm telling you it smells like white wine it's it really smells nice so I use it in yeah use it in my cooking why not Okay, so this is reducing. This is a, a meal that you can make. It only takes 20 minutes to cook it, or so, 20, 30 minutes to cook it. Uh, the prep is pretty easy. So you can have a meal on the table in like 30 to 35 minutes or so. Uh, you can't get better than that. And a big, nice, crusty loaf of bread, a glass of wine. Beautiful. This is considered a main course uh, because it has the beans in it. It's got the protein. Now, if you want it to go vegan, you can forget about the bacon. Just use EVO, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, later on, we're going to be putting heavy cream in it. You can forgo the cream and put in a vegan substitute or a vegetarian substitute. Uh, what else? Uh, the cheese, we put Parmesan cheese in later too. You can forego that for vegan cheese. So this is very versatile in that you can uh, make it for anybody's uh, taste. Okay, this looks good. Now, goes in the cannellini beans. You're going, usually I have you drain the beans, but this time we're putting in the, the liquid that the beans came in because it has starch in it and it's going to thicken the soup, make it nice and thick. So we've got two 14 ounce cans of cannellini beans or any white bean, really. That's pretty awesome, okay. That goes in there, I mean, <laughs> pretty easy. Four cups of vegetable stock or chicken stock. 
Again, if you're going to go vegan or uh, vegetarian, I would opt out for the veg for the vegetable stock, obviously. There's about four cups in here, a little less. So I'm going to add a little bit of water just for the difference. Okay, bring this up. To that, we are going to add a parmesan brick now i buy my parmesan cheese at uh, burkici which is an italian uh, specialty store um, i buy it in chunks and then i cut it up when i get home and i uh, vacuum pack it put it in the freezer and always have parmesan cheese uh, because it's in a chunk the end part is the grind or the rind i guess is what it's called and it's dop by the way it says dop on it which means it's protected. This is real Parmesan Reggiano, Parmigiano Reggiano. So I keep these to put into soup stocks. So it just gives a little bit of flavor. I take it out afterwards, obviously. It puts a little bit of flavor in there and uh, it's great for that. I put it in, I, sometimes I put it in my spaghetti sauce or other sauces, certainly my soups. I like to put it in if I have it. So um, yeah, so that goes in there too. All right, next will be Oh, the herbs. This is rosemary. Now, they suggest you put in a couple of sprigs of rosemary. I didn't have any. This is from my uh, balcony garden from uh, last summer, and I just threw it into the freezer. So I cut it up real small, and that goes in there too. That's about, uh, ooh, what was that? I don't know. A couple of tablespoons, maybe? Some yeah, tablespoons, yeah. Like yeah. Teaspoons. teaspoons. Anyway, the, the ingredients are underneath. And a bay leaf. This is a fresh bay leaf. Again, I had it in my garden. And um, that goes in there as well. So, to this, I think that's it. Yes, let me just give it a taste. That comes later. I'm going to give this a taste. Oh, it tastes good already. Not yet. Comes later. Oh, don't worry. All right, so I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then I'm going to put it on a simmer, and I'm going to put the top on it, and we're going to let it cook for about 25 minutes, and then we're going to come back, we're going to do the next step, and then we're going to try it. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Hi, welcome back. So the soup's been cooking for about 15 minutes. I said 20 to 25, more like 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, so it's ready to go. I took it off the heat or at least I turn the heat off and now to that we're going to add the bacon that all goes in there we're going to add the parmesan cheese and we're talking about a half a cup of parmesan cheese but again it's to taste that goes in there as well freshly grated parm uh, I'll give that a little whiz here oh man okay and while I'm waiting here I'm going to take out the uh, bay leaf and if you put whole sprigs of uh, rosemary in there then you'll want to take out the rosemary sprigs too. There's the parmesan grind, rind, it's all floppy, it's been doing its thing in there. That's there, that's gone. Okay, next we've got uh, a half a cup of heavy cream, you can use half and half or milk or again if you want to go the vegan route or the yeah, the vegan root, then you'll want to substitute that for a vegan uh, substitute. Okay, there we go. And freshly chopped uh, parsley. I would say about a tablespoon or so of that. That goes in there. All right, so what we're going to do now is, look how lovely that looks, hearty and everything else. So I'm going to make it a little bit thicker by using my immersion blender. Now you can use a potato masher as well. I would, if you want it really smooth and creamy, um, then you would do the whole thing. But I'm just going to do a little bit of it and uh, just make it that much um, creamier. So you want to be careful; it's hot. You still want a little bit chunky, maybe. that doesn't that look lovely oh, man. okay that should do it all right reveal time this is the best part all right 
let me just get rid of some of this stuff. All right, so we're going to scoop some of it into a bowl. Oh, it looks so good. A hearty soup, perfect for this time of the year, but really perfect for any time of the year. There we have it. Let me give that a bit of a clean up. It looks nice and pretty. There we have it. Now you want to put a little bit of uh, parsley on top. Well, first we'll do cheese, a little bit more parm. Grate it on top like this. Some parsley cut up just with your fingers. Make it look nice. And, oh, nope, not yet. And a little bit of EVOO, just a drizzle on top. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. All right, time to taste it. Oh, that is so good. Oh, Dan, really good. People, please try this. It is so easy, so fast, and it's really nutritious and uh, delicious. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, please be safe. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share. I would really appreciate that. Spread the word. Uh, most of all, forget the mess and enjoy your Tuscan white bean soup with bacon. Enjoy. <laughs>